Hi guys, my name is Liz Ndambi. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I think this is the first video I'm actually making after changing from the Miss channel. And I am a twin mom, blogger, vlogger, and I talk about mommy stuff and twin stuff. So if that is your type of thing, please do sure hit the subscribe button for more of those videos and you can watch other videos that i've made already and hopefully you enjoy them and before we get into the video i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much guys for 100 subscribers a few weeks ago we hit 100 subscribers i am a beyond <laughs> i am beyond shocked because I don't think I'm that interesting but if a hundred people are hitting a subscribe button I mean that is uh, something to actually be proud of and um, a fellow twin mom um, I consider her a friend um, Lerato from Grow With Me um, I think I posted it on on Instagram and I was like oh it's the small wins and she's like it's not a small win these, these are big milestones for starting up and that is so true that is so true like for me this is big because i just thought it would be my family and friends who would watch this <laughs> so thank you guys so much and um to like bigger numbers hey to bigger numbers um so thank you guys thank you thank you thank you in this video i want us to talk about cloth nappies Hopefully, I can talk cloth nappy everything in this one episode, but if not, I'm going to break it into um, episodes. I'm going to be spilling all of the tea, coffee, a latte, espresso about cloth nappies for beginners in like a very quick, easy concept that you kind of get the whole picture without going into too much detail and confusing you please grab something because it might be a long video <laughs> so let's get into the video first thing on the list is types of cloth nappies so there is a whole world of types of cloth nappies there are different there are different varieties and I don't have all those varieties but for the ones that I do not have and I do mention I will insert a picture but for those that I do have I'm going to show you now so types of cloth nappies okay so the lighting is terrible I am going to insert the pictures as I speak so first up is an all-in-one all in one um, just means that the inserts are attached to the cover so you don't need to stuff the nappy and then we have pocket nappies pocket nappies have um, a little opening and you stuff an insert in them and then we have flat nappies and then we have flats. So flats is just a squid cloth um, in different materials um, and you can fold it into any style that you prefer. And then we have pre-folds. Pre-folds is just, um, it's basically an nappy that is already folded for you. So it's basically like the squid cloth but it's already folded for you so you don't have to do the folding um, there are also different types of pre-folds but I'm not gonna get into that um, it depends on the company that you buy from they have their own different types of pre-folds with that we also have covers covers are used when you have a flat on the child and you need something to hold in the wetness and then we have fitteds um, fitteds are like a disposable nappy 
but the whole thing is absorbent but you have to put a cover on them which is pretty cool as a cloth mom <laughs> i always want a cloth nappies i never feel like i have enough so i actually want more cloth nappies but i also want to start doing a night cloth so um i need to get more cloth nappies those are the cloth nappies that a lot of people um, are drawn towards um, getting because um, they are not so complicated and as you get into the cloth nappy world you will find that there are other types of cloth nappies so it just depends on you and what you want and what you prefer and i know when you go into a cloth nappy group they will say oh no try everything but what i did is i read a lot of posts and saw what a lot of people prefer using and that is what i actually got now let's get into the types of inserts and flats that you get inserts are just as a rectangle a rectangular um cloth that has about four layers usually and that is what you would use to stuff your pocket nappy and use with your covers as well if you like to so inserts you get um, a terry blend you get microfiber you get a hem insert and you get a terry bamboo insert so what that actually means is just that that insert is made of hem the insert is made of bamboo terry the insert is made of microfiber the nice thing about these different types of inserts is that they all have a different absorbency to them so hem is more absorbent than uh, a terry bamboo um, a terry bamboo is more absorbent than a microfiber um, terry bamboo blend which is a blend of a terry bamboo and microfiber is more absorbent than microfiber and also with microfiber you cannot put it against the bum um, you're not allowed to it's going to irritate the child because it's not a natural what's the word it's not a natural fiber that's the word now washing your cloth nappies i have a video about washing your cloth nappies i'll insert it up here you can wash your cloth nappies every two to three days nothing more than that i know that there are people who like to wash their cloth nappies um, sometimes every four days i would not recommend it because i feel like that gives leeway for stink issues which we are going to get into but I prefer that people wash their cloth nappies every two to three days, depending on how many cloth nappies you have. When I say every two to three days, what I mean by that, for example, is if you cloth your child Monday, Tuesday and wash on Wednesday, that is every two days. And if you are washing every three days, you would cloth your child Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and wash on Thursday. When the child gets older, um, they start using less cloth. So they, the younger they are, the more often you have to change them. Because, but as soon as they start eating solids and to move from only breakfast um, to having breakfast and lunch, then the cloth becomes less and less. We are still on washing your cloth nappies so we have a a lot of um, detergents on the market in South Africa so it all comes down to what you prefer and what your family prefers the only thing that should be excluded from your laundry detergent is that it should not have any fabric softener so you don't put any fabric softener in your cloth nappies 
and you cannot use two-in-one laundry detergents because they have fabric softener incorporated in them. Another thing to be aware of is temperature of when you are washing. Um, I will have to do an updated wash routine. So I prefer that I put my temperature a little bit higher for when I rinse. I put my temperature lower for when I wash because you don't want to put your temperature very high um, and then damage your pool covers which are your which are your covers they have a lining that's plastic and plastic in high temperatures gets um, destroyed something else that i i'm forgetting to mention about detergents it is not advisable that you use baby detergents but i do know that there are some people that use baby detergents and it works for them and that's fine but for me I have found that in the long run again it creates some stink issues that's it for part one do make sure to check out the wash routine video um, that I posted a while ago and if you have any questions please leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe like and comment see you in the next part